Good morning. Good afternoon. It is 3.18. This exit is exactly where yesterday's video started. So yesterday we had all that flat land we were going through. This is what was in our rear view mirror. Beautiful, spectacular Rocky Mountains. Right there. Today we get to drive back the other direction. So yeah, we're gonna go through uh, Canmore and Banff and go that direction, see how that goes. This load's going all the way back to Kamloops. Yeah, that truck stopped just off to the left there. Uh, this video is brought to you by the Sutherland Group. Now hiring Super B Woodchip, Super B Flat Deck Class 1 drivers in BC's Lower Mainland, the Okanagan, and the Kootenays. And to apply, go to setco.ca, use promo code QUANFAN, let them know I sent you, plus you get an extra hire box. Make sure you use my name as a reference. If I get a referral bonus, split it 50 50 with you. There's also a whole bunch of other job postings like brokers and HR and log loaders and tugboat operators and gravel truck drivers. There's it, there's a lot of job postings. Just go to click that little My Careers button and see what's all up there. Welcome to the beautiful Rocky Mountains. Jess has got her phone out. I have to test out the new camera. New phone camera. Yeah, her last cam her last phone, the forward facing camera wasn't working anymore, which meant she couldn't FaceTime with or not FaceTime, whatever you guys are using, but with our niece and my sister-in-law, it's like, yeah, you should probably get that so you can FaceTime them again. I uh, got a heck of a deal. It's only twenty dollars more a month. behind us. We got the roof cam going. I'm gonna go around the puddle. <laughs> See if we can get a little more video out of the roof cam in the first five minutes. We have some serious puddles yesterday. Oh, we did some serious puddles yesterday. It's uh, plus three degrees Celsius here. It was plus six in Calgary. It feels like spring. I really was just sitting it here. It feels, feels like good. spring. I think that snowstorm last night was one last kick of winter. I think spring is one. Hopefully spring is one. If I was good at drawing, I have this comic in my head I would draw out. Well, I'm glad you've got a comic in your head. Have you ever tried drawing them out? Maybe you're a genius at art, you just don't know it yet. Probably would if I actually practiced a lot. It would get better. Painting seems a lot more fun.
March 15th, 16th, expect the lane diversion. Well, today is not the 15th or the 16th, so I don't know why we have to go slow. Today's Pi Day. Today's what? Pi Day. Pi Day? Yeah, March 14th, 3.14. 3.14. It's Pi Day. Pi Day. Well, I gotta go through that puddle. Eh, you know what? If the roof cam gets dirty, it gets dirty. We still have two internal cameras. I can't mind those three. Four if we count four. Five if we count that dash cam. I mean, we gotta count. But not wildlife arch. Oh, that's what's going on here? Yeah, that sign just told you. It'll be a wildlife uh, crossing over here. They're putting up all the fencing. Ah, that's it. They must have a lot of collisions with wildlife here and they're putting up fencing. And then they'll have an arch over there. Because the fencing will prevent the animals from crossing the road, they need to be able to over, overpass for the animals to still cross, so that makes sense. This is definitely the route to take if you want to be introduced to Rocky Mountains. So beautiful. No matter what, I'm always disappointed in the video on the camera. The wide angle lens just does not do these mountains justice. I always try to remember that when I'm watching other people's uh, videos driving through the mountains. It's like, these are like twice as spectacular in real life. Watching Max videos and Itchy Boots videos, it's like these, these would be so spectacular in real world. it up earlier. They were definitely doing avalanche control vehicle recovery system. On Rogers? Um, uh, where was that? The, the brake check by the Oh, okay, check. so um, the, kicking horse the brake check at the top of the 10 well, no, on the other side. So we might have some. That some was, more delays today. That was, the road's looking really good, though. That was the vehicle recovery. Avalanche was further down close to the Three Valley Gap. Okay. Where all those lakes are with the yeah, yeah, yeah. train tunnel. Yeah. More by the enchanted forest. That area. Let's see if we get delayed by avalanche control. Well, it's supposed to end at 4 o'clock at sea time, so it should be okay. Okay. Might be okay. But like I said, that the weather has changed much more, much more polite weather. 
so I'm optimistic we'll have good roads even if we have a couple of stops here and there all the accidents yesterday got to clear all that up coming off of some of those mountains are just so beautiful. I have a feeling we're going to lose our blue sky. DCT Chambers Trucking. Dead Man Flats. Dead Man's Flats. Not bumpy here at all in Alberta. Yeah, it is a lot. And the other photos crooked. Or out more. But I think when I actually lined up, because I have it where it suggests the best shot bubble. Yeah. I think when I actually line it up, it takes longer to take my better photo. Okay. A big Canadian flag. It's a dark red on that flag. That would have been a beautiful photo of pole over there and get the mountains in the background. Have the big Canadian flag with the mountains in the background. That would be a nice photo. Not very often you see that flag straight out like that. It's pretty darn windy out.
blue sky? What blue sky? Welcome to Canmore. Truck is ruining my photos. Hey, you know me. This bridge is on so bumpy. I'm like, not if I want, even I could take a photo if I wanted to. <laughs> chips and dirty windshield. I don't have much room actually. Yeah. <laughs> You can sit here by the river and, and the train track. You get really good train photos. Nice train photos. Well, all the way here till Spiral Tunnel. Yeah, but Bow Valley is known for it. Also, if you hang around, you're going to see moose and bear in this area. Most definitely bear. Most definitely. Grizzly, good luck. Spend. Is it starting to snow? It's snowing a little bit. Grizzlies, it's hard pressed to see grizzlies. Jeff saw two of them together at one point. Yeah. On one of those animal crossing overpasses. Black bears, you see quite a bit. Obviously, not this time of year. But. They're actually starting to wake up. Grizzlies and black bears. This time of year, you're going to see the elk. Yep. We're still alongside Canmore here. Canmore's kind of to our, well, I guess both sides, but... shortly after Canmore we reduced speed to 90 kilometers an hour and then we stayed there. Is that elk on the side then? Where? On the left side. In the left side. side. Yes, a whole bunch of elk on the left hand side. Both sides of the fence. We just ignore the fence, just right, jump right over. I told you this is the time of year you see elk. Tons of elk. Tons and tons of elk. It's a whole herd there. Yeah, they're kind of really spread out. 30, 40? Oh, there's more in town there. Yeah. More like 50 or 60 head of elk. Those are big animals, too. They are. Yep. See, I can play ice by. I'm good at that. I 
have a number of uh, offensives. A little bit taller than this. And then Moose acted like it Just didn't. Just trod right over it. Yeah, it didn't. Like, there's fence, no, what fence? Yeah. <laughs> Just trod right over top of it. And that's why the wildlife fencing needs to be a tall, 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 tall fence. I was watching a video today where an elephant, they put up an electrical fence around the road to keep it from crossing the road and test it with the foot, foot. And it just goes, okay, I'll just take the fence post down and walk right over it. Over it. It's like, what electrical fence? Silly humans trying to keep me in. I like the video I saw the other day where they know the sugar cane trucks. They stand in the road, and make you stop, and then grab some sugar cane off the truck and let you go. No way. Yeah. I think that was in Thailand. inside cameras that are getting beautiful mountains as well. Just such a beautiful, beautiful mountain range over here. Just stunning. Welcome to Banff National Park. stop in the park at all you got to go through the booths on the left hand side we are just traveling through on highway one just take all the pot holes around the side honor system and if they catch you stopped in the park without a pass you're in trouble. It should be noted that this pass can be used in any any Canadian national park. Place. Yeah so if you buy a week's worth and you know you're on vacation with multiple ones it's worth. Or a yearly pass like the one pass we had. Yeah well we got that one for free. We did. If you want to do multiple parks, it's, it's totally worth it. Took advantage of that pass. Yeah, we did buy another one when we did our uh, Yukon. We went through Jasper and stuff, right? We yeah. got a, a pass for all those parks as well. And it supports the park system, so why not?
off the main road. You don't actually drive through it unless you take the side road. I feel so slow through here and that's why so many people speed. Because you're used to doing 110 kilometers an hour which is what just under 70 miles an hour now you're doing 55 miles 90 kilometers Good, we got some pigeons here that want to get some souvenirs. Another comic, a pigeon with a souvenir. I you should buy a little sketchbook. So many volunteers here. Oh, you passed me once already. guarantee the roof cam is gone. <laughs> we knew there was a chance it wouldn't last the whole video. Yeah, but I think it got some good shots. Well, you guys watching already know. I won't know until I start editing some video. snow again. Did it just be blowing the snow or do you think it's actually snowing? No, that's actual snowing. There's a difference. Obviously the way I heard it that I know that. So if you look up there the clouds, it's all snowing up there. See if the cop gets any of them. What? Just gonna see if you remember. Do you remember if I have popcorn in here? I have no idea if you have popcorn in here. That's what I feel like sound like. Oh yeah, I'm over length of a load too. The my load is 58 feet long. So I've got the over over length flags on the back. Where we're going, but I don't know if he actually said. No. 
It's OSB going to a roof and truss place, and it's long lengths, long narrow lengths of OSB. They use this to make uh, basically fake two by eights on them for floors and stuff. Firefighters nightmare. The fake two by fours on the floor are uh, are structurally strong enough to hold up everything until you have a fire. So as a firefighter, you have to be very careful entering homes with this kind of. You don't know. You have to be careful in all of them. You don't know if this will be something that will collapse. I know when I was in the department, that's something that was just becoming a thing. It's like, be careful. kilometers. elk. Just one single elk on the right hand side. You should have just said moose to make me laugh. Because <laughs> that's getting me the glare of all glares. You saw the elk, right? Yes, I did. Okay. It's really tan, actually. Yeah. Usually they're darker. I see the popos on that side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why those dudes slowing down. Yep. speed you're comfortable with and then you don't have to hit the brakes every time you see a cop. The ironic thing is the cop is visible. The elk and the moose and everything else aren't so visible. Yeah. Ask the cop that's busy dealing with somebody else is not paying attention to you. Way out there. People are silly. So many people do that. I'd say majority of people do that. What's the point? They were, if you were speeding, they were ready to clock you. Yep. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, I was going to tell you, past the danger zone, he's speeding up there. That's the thing, where's the next cop? 
often when you see one cop, that means they're doing a blitz in that area, and there's three or four of them all just waiting for you. Well, like I said, we know these parks. It's usually three or four at least, so. Just yeah. near the speed limit. Go within a speed that you feel comfortable next to a cop. Whatever that speed is. Sky there again. I'm trying hard not to yawn. Oh, did we miss where Banff was? The exit for that? Uh, yeah, so. that's behind us, a long way behind us already. That's okay. Maybe there's a train way up to the left. Considering how much snow was on these roads, I'm quite happy with how quickly dried out. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to keep seeing stunning, beautiful mountains like this for the rest of the day, honestly. Animals. Maybe it's a rock. Out of rocks now. Hey, you do that at the stumps. You I do. You don't. Mm -mm. You yeah. don't have to judge. If the rock and stump looks like there's a animal right beside the road, you slow down and treat it as if it is an animal, even if you think it might be a stump. Until you recognize it. that stump is always there. Um, stumps usually look like bears to me. Black bears. There's this one spot that a white rock always looks like a mountain too. Yep. See, you know this rock. Anyhow. I know, I want to keep recording for another three hours. We'll call it a day here. just continues and continues. Okay. I know, I'm bad at ending videos. Just want to keep going. I always tell Jess, I have to make shorter videos. They take too long to edit. I keep making these really long videos. 
Because look, if you go around the corner, there's another cool mountain there. I meant that corner there. That's the corner I meant. That corner? Yeah, that corner there. That, that's when we're going to end the video. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure about that. Oh, um, animal overpasses, the one we were talking about, what they were building. That, this is what they're going to build over there. So these these here are animal uh, migration overpasses. They've put a lot of study into where these happen. There's We've probably gone past a whole bunch of them. A lot of them are under the highway. They just look like, just look like bridges. So a lot of these migration paths are under the highway. Some places they can't build them under the highway, so they build these over the top of the highway. You need under ones for like uh, the turtles and then yeah. the other animals that won't go over. So you need both. So you need a lot of small underpasses and big underpasses for elk and stuff too. But yeah, there's a mix. And yeah, they did a lot of studies before they put up the fencing on where most of the animals migrate, where they naturally migrate. And that's where they built the bridges and underpasses. One more corner, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Look at the mountains I up know. ahead there. I look at them. Just, just when you just look at them. Okay, guys, we're out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys rock. Adios. Rocky Mountain Rock. <laughs>